Welcome to episode 13 of Views from a Business Leader. In this episode, we talk to Andre Vo, who is the co founder and MD of Claire Logic. So, uh, good morning, Andre, and thank you uh, very much for uh, joining us this morning on the Views from a Business Leader. Good morning. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. The sun's shining this morning, which is which is great. And uh, I, I noted uh, a, a little guitar in the corner. Um, I guess you're. Uh, we've talked that you're a little bit of a sort of a musician, and uh, enjoy that in your spare time. That's a very generous comment. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, I dabble. I dabble in you know in instruments. So yeah, piano being the main one, but. Um, yeah, but your your game is technology, and that's 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 where you are. So I don't know if you want to start just by telling the viewers um, sort of who you are and what what you do. It'd be great. Yeah, so I'm managing director of Claire Logic. Uh, we're a managed service provider. So um, companies outsource their IT to Claire Logic. We become their IT department, and so you know anything from you know a, a person calling up with a problem on Excel or or you know increasingly Teams or Zoom. Um, you know, we can help fix it remotely, and we also, you know, go into offices in under normal circumstances, uh, you know, and ha have an on-site presence as well. Yeah, sure. So I guess from um, sort of obviously the the current situation, it has your sort of you, I guess you're never been busier in that sense. That's right. Yeah, we we've had the last sort of two two to three months have just been insanely busy. Um, lots of uh, companies that we support have started, you know, essentially changed their business continuity plans. So historically, they may have had 100 staff um, and, you know, they, they've organised for 10 people to work in an emergency. Yeah. You know, whereas basically that's gone from 10 to the 100. So, you know, lots of, you know, supplying equipment, laptops, etc. to get people working remotely. Got lots of... Um, customers with team at home that also have desk phones and stuff just to make the I guess make the environment as bearable or as, or yeah. as actually comfortable as, as you can really yeah. um, it's you know it's been a massive change for people so you know trying to get people as, as comfortable as possible is, is really important and also sort of teaching them you know how to use things like slack and, and teams etc more uh, you know, even down to things like using emojis or whatever, okay. and, and for possible video calling. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that's, that's that's been a big, uh, been a big thing. Although it doesn't always work out the way you think it does. Um, yes, well, because you 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 have a video call. Uh, you know, we you know internally we have sort of one to one catch ups with people very regularly, but they tend to take a lot longer now. Yes. Because you're. You're not only asking them how how are you doing, you know, have you got everything you need, does that is work okay or whatever, but now you're incorporating that kind of water cooler chat that you used to have. So you know, you kind of you know you might be wandering around the office grabbing some fruit or whatever, and you have a chat to someone, and you know how's your weekend, you know, have you fixed your car, whatever it might be. Yeah. And so now you end up doing that in a in a yeah. sort of one to one catch up as well. So they kind of double in in length so it's very easy to spend all day just on video calls uh, yeah. which is which is great um you know uh, but but i think that personally i'm starting to mix and match it up a bit more now so you know it's like i had a catch up with a guy yesterday and just decided to use mobile phone so i could have a headset and just wander around the garden yeah that's, a good, that's make, good advice actually because it does make, get intense the video <laughs> all the time and right, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so from 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 your own clients that you're you're servicing at the moment, obviously that their needs have, have ramped up. How are they? I guess you, you speak to a number of other sort of business owners, directors, etc., with their requirement. How 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 has business been for for them sort of during this time? Are you finding sort of some depend, I guess, on the industries that they work on, work within, are, are some sort of doing well and some not so not so well? Yeah, we've seen a real mix, really. Um, yeah, some some clients have, have also been busy. Um, you know, you've got some clients that have unfortunately had to furlough staff, um, and they or, or or they've retained all their staff, but they've just got quieter. Yeah, um, yeah a real a real mix, really. Um, but it's yeah, it's just about you know sort of being there, sort of supportively and strategically, 
yeah. um, you know, and helping them with their sort of longer term, you know, the longer term business goals or, or business survival, depending on the client. Yeah, hundred percent. It's sometimes, yeah, it's. I think it is sometimes for certainly for many businesses, it is survival at the moment. I guess. Are you um, have you used yourself any any of the sort of the, the business loans that have had to sort of bit the government are offering or, or any of the other government sort of in, uh, incentives that they're putting out there for for businesses? No, we've not um, had to do that currently. I mean, you know, how, how things will look in you know a month or two's time, you you just don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've not we've not really made any changes. We've we've been you know we've we've been busy, so. Yeah. We've, been, you know it's just been business as usual really for us yeah, yeah, and, sure. yeah part of our you know our business continuity plan already included working from home so all the team already took their laptops home and stuff so yeah, yeah. so it's, you know the only problems we really faced when people started working from home was oh I've, I've lost my bluetooth headset or you know whatever so it's like okay well go and order one yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah and it's, it's pretty much been working as normal really you mentioned earlier about habits changing and sort of using the mobile phone and sort of having to wander around, which I think is really, really, really good. Do you think habits have going to change sort of moving forward just in general in terms of how business is done from a from an IT um, infrastructure technology? I think, that's a, I think it's a great question. I think people will be more looking to sort of loosen the cord from the office where they can. I mean, not all businesses can. You know, there are businesses that are, are, are sort of established today that are kind of born in the cloud. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so all their services, phone systems, email, et cetera, is all cloud based. But there are large businesses that we look after that for whatever reason, whether it's, um, you know, something to do with, you know, rules around finance or whatever, they have to have they have to keep some stuff on site or whatever. So so some businesses, I think, will be looking to you know, get rid of the tin in the office and um, just be fully cloud based, you know, with cloud phone systems, etc. Um, yeah, I, I do think there'll be I, I do think there'll be a shift. Yeah. And in terms of how business is done, I don't know. I think I think a big amount of business is still on is, is really still on face to face and, you know, about personal relationships and liking somebody. Um, and I think that that's harder to do even be a video call if you've never met them before. I've seen quite a lot of posts on LinkedIn actually about people hiring and stuff. And while I think that's, it's, it's quite interesting, but it's not something I would do. I'd always okay. want to have some, you know, face-to-face -face time with them. And, you know, as part, part of our interview process is, you know, going and having a game of pool with them. We've got pool table in the office and just, you know, just seeing how people are in different environment really. yeah. and, and you can't do that with a video call no exactly yeah and i guess they could have almost like a script that you can't see that they're just reading off basically yeah. no, they, they wouldn't my, my, my auto prompt talking to you now yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey good i guess um from from the expansion of people working from home um i know that you you look in uh, and look after security, internet security yeah, for many of your clients. Have you seen a sort of spike in that? Because I guess, um, you know, where people work from home, they might be a bit more vulnerable and they might get calls or emails that they might click on that they wouldn't have normally, if that makes sense, because they're sort of more alert of maybe in the office. I don't know if that's a true statement or not, but um, I was just, I was mulling over our discussions and thinking, actually, have has the security side sort of ramped up and, and, and have you seen a spike in, in issues? Uh, the, sh the short answer is no. I mean, with all the, the sort of the system changes we've done, the, me the main thing is not to rush it because it's very easy to cut corners. And then, yes, that will give you problems later. So, you know, typically the majority of uh, people that we've enabled for home working, they have an, uh, you know, a, a laptop that's managed by the organisation. You know, it's not, it, you know, there are some people using home computers to connect, but they connect in a certain a certain way, nice. um, which means that uh, essentially the the home environment and the work environment is, it, you know, separated. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think probably we haven't seen too much of it yet, but I think. You know, there's probably an increase in sort of shadow IT where, you know, somebody who works in, I don't know, accounts or something, they can't get their, their spreadsheet 
to work at home properly so they're you know perhaps they're putting it into their own personal dropbox or something you know mm-hmm. that's one thing you've got to be really aware of at the moment because you know people people find you know people will find their own solutions and they're not always the right solutions um, yeah but but generally speaking because of the way we set things up um you know the security and stuff is we use a sort of layered security approach so we don't just you know install antivirus on a computer you know there's antivirus sort of on the network antivirus in in the cloud for email or whatever so it really reduces the you know re- reduces the risk of there being any problems really no that's that's good um so from a you're right you, you're md of a, a an it business and wh- how do you at the moment plan are you are you planning or is it literally you are just in the mire and sort of dealing with what is in front of you on a day-to-day basis or are you able to plan for the future in terms of you know gain, gaining new business and um, networking and and you know ha- how are you sort of tackling that sort of side of things another great question uh, <laughs> I, I guess uh, i guess we're all in an un- unknown at the moment so you know we we had a sort of a board planning session a few months ago and you know we've had to revisit that you know, in in cons- you know in subsequent Zoom board meetings, because you know the the you know the growth that we thought we would get, you know, we were having to relook at it and say, well, actually, you know, we could be in lockdown until September or October. You know, yeah. the, the the chance of taking on new business is lower at the moment because you know people stick with what they know. Um, you know, the chance of face to face meetings is you know well you can't at the moment. Um, so yeah, so that. We are still planning, but we're kind of co- constantly reviewing our plans at the moment and, you know, budgets going forwards. And, you know, and even on the on sort of the operational side, we're still looking at, um, you know, we have, you know, we're quite good as a team because we, you know, have regular updates together, um, you know, where we're looking at, you know, what the workload is and stuff and, and going through, you know, we have these huddles where we go through stuff to make sure nobody's doing the same work twice or, you know, can anyone help with this or whatever? Um, so that all that kind of stuff is still happening. Yeah. Um, so that helps. You know, that helps with the sort of really short term stuff as well. Right. Okay. And you mentioned there about sort of huddles and and communicating quite on, obviously on a regular basis. And you've you've got a pool pool uh, pool table in your office, so you've got to be a pretty dynamic company to to, to have one of those. Well, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just in terms of uh, like how you do communicate as a company wide and sort of looking after employees' well-being and and how they're feeling, do, how, how is that structured within the organisation? So we have um, well, normally we have uh, sort of one-to-ones every week or every two weeks. Um, but because the the whole you know the whole sort of timing of the business has changed really so so you know we you know we're trying to sort of have one to ones with people every few days really and just check in with people and it's about making sure people are comfortable as well so you know we've had is- you know we've had issues with like people you know thought they had a really nice chair at home and then when they sit in it for 7 8 hours a day they suddenly realize it's it's not a really nice chair so you know been sending out chairs or desk phones or whatever it's just about making people feel comfortable and you know I think most of the team have you know collected more monitors than that so they've got multi-monitor at home yeah. just to yeah. just, just to um yeah be, be comfortable really and then yeah, yeah. We, we've been checking in with them making sure they're okay and, and also doing things like weekly quizzes okay so yeah we've been doing that kind of stuff as well trying different things yeah. um how many have you got in the organization in total how, how uh, We've got about 17 team members at the moment. Okay, so it's um, so manageable to do a good quiz. It is, yeah. As long as I, I guess the thing is, is when you're doing, say, you know, if, it, if everybody brings five questions, that is quite a long quiz. So it's better to for everybody to bring three questions or something like that. You know. <laughs> but there's one thing's for sure after after this lockdown that, that lots of people will be far more knowledgeable on general knowledge. I think that's right. Yeah. That, <laughs> do you have any sort of advice that you would would give to other sort of business owners sort of that you've experienced that you could sort of pass on? Hmm. Well, we're still kind of experiencing it at the moment. You know, we're we don't know how far we are through lockdown. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had a few clients 
um, sort of, you know, that we've advised in the past to, you know, say, for example, purchase laptops um, instead of desktop computers, because laptops give you more flexibility. You know, you can work from home or whatever. Um, you know, I've had discussions with with a few business owners recently that said, actually, that's a, you know, you were right. It's it's that's actually a better long term plan because it gives you more flexibility and especially something like a worldwide pandemic, you know, having yeah. laptops is, is, is you know, it's been really useful. Um, you know, I, I think businesses will come out of this time, you know, thinking, you know, being more agile, um, you know, whether it's, you know, looking at different types of technology that is cloud based, you know, phone systems that work at home, that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, it, it's difficult to tell. It, it will be really interesting to, you know, I, I'll be certainly, you know, when it comes to New Year's Eve, and you know, sort of looking back as you do when you, you you think about what do you want to achieve for the next year, and you know how how good or bad has 2020 been? Um, it, it will be it'll be quite an interesting time of reflection. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there, there's always some things you can do better. Yeah. Um, and you know, I'm sure the government are realising that at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. know. that's the that's the problem in this sort of situation. Um, in terms of your working environment, it'd be interesting to understand. So you're, you've got 17 people. You've obviously got a, a bit of space in terms of for them. Do you think that's sort of going to change for you in terms? Because I know a lot of businesses are looking to what they were looking to extend before lockdown. Now they're actually looking to re retract because people are so, you know, becoming so converted to working from home. Then they mm. actually probably don't need as much office space as they they once thought. So is that something that you're considering or? Um, I have seen that. Yes, um, it, it wouldn't be something that we would be looking at. I mean, we we're quite flexible, you know, with our team in terms of, you know, if you need to work from home because you know you're getting a dishwasher delivered or whatever, it's not yeah. a problem. Um, but it's not it's not usually a regular thing because you know we we've worked really hard on sort of team culture over the last few years. We've got a great team. You know, yeah. we have a lot of fun at work. Um, you know, we do work as well. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. it's um you know i think you know people you know we're a people business people interaction and i think that you can't really beat you know being in the office um so yeah it's not something we would change uh, we may be more flexible in future um yeah but, um yeah we wouldn't be looking at downsizing office space or anything like that um yeah. you know we've got we've got a, we actually had an office refurbishment um sort of late into late last year so it's kind of a pity at the moment that we can't be sat in a really nice office. Yeah, just... So you've definitely got to get back to make sure you get a return on that investment that you made. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went into the office the other day just to, you know, water the plants and check everything was okay. And yeah. I kind of thought, oh, it's a real pity we're not here at the moment. <laughs> so, so Andre, um, you know, we've heard some great stories I've, and I've heard some great stories of, of businesses that have really sort of stepped up to the plate and, and are doing things now together that they never, never had done before. Uh, is that is that how it is with, with Claire Logic in terms of how your sort of camaraderie and, and your, your, your togetherness is? Or? Yes, I think so. I mean, we, we've always, you know, had a great team culture. We've always been an agile business sort of doing whatever it takes really to get get what the client needs and I'm really sort of proud over the last few months because you know the team has yet done it again you know our, our workload kind of you know sort of increased threefold at one point you know there was a, a lot on um, and, and the team you know managed it really well and actually that sort of bore out in the you know the feedback that we got from the clients so we always you know we always ask for feedback and so over the last sort of two or three months, I think it is, we're sat at a hundred percent excellence. Wow. Um, you know, so people, can, people, you know, when we, when we perform a piece of work and we finish it, you know, they get an email say, you know, would you like to rate the work? Um, yeah. And um, yes, and you know, we publish those stats on the website live. We don't tinker with them or anything. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we've been sat at a hundred percent, and and I think hundred percent through this time when work has you know the workload has been so high I, I think you know speaks volumes about the team that we've got you know it's all about people at the end of the day 
Yeah, massively. I think I think you're, you're absolutely hit the nail on the head there. I think it is about people. And it's lovely to thank you for your time today because it, it's, it's nice to uh, speak to a business owner that is very positive and that, you know, you're, you're obviously embracing what, what is in front of you. And, and Claire Logic are obviously stepping up to the plate as a business and, and servicing companies when they need it most, you know, in, in yeah. these times in making sure that their infrastructure is and home home life is, is as good as it can be in terms of, you know, during these troubled times. No worries. So, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much. It, it really is. Uh, and as I said, I know you're really busy, so I, I do appreciate your time this morning. No worries. All right. Take care. Thanks, Andre. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.